Government institutions have been asked to adopt exemplary risk management practices in all their dealings, and this came to the fore at the inauguration of the Chartered Risk Management Institute of Nigeria. President of the Institute, Ezekiel Luseni, says governments are faced with a wide range of risks, including those related to national security, economic stability, and social matters. He therefore urges governments to embrace effective risk management approaches across their operations. The governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emifili, also called on risk professionals in the financial industry to broaden their scope of practices, citing the advent of emerging risks as a reference. The CBN boss, who was represented at the event, which had as its theme risk management driving organizational agility, formally inaugurated the Chartered Risk Management Institute of Nigeria, which was formerly known as the Risk Management Association of Nigeria. The entire economy is had a lot of challenges. And then when you couple this, couple with the fact that the world economy as well, that it has distorted business performance and so on, this also makes organizational risk management even more important today. It has exposed how managing risk has become exceedingly important, even to maintain your country and not just your business, the country and even the entire global economy. Now that we are legislated, we abide by law, not Logan Association, uh, we will be able to issue guidelines on risk management practice. Risk managers, professionals will now be under responsibility to discharge their duties uh, appropriately and where they fail, they'll be held accountable. And so our appeal to the government and to the employers of labor is that just don't just put anybody as your risk officer. The most important thing is that risk managers are there to help us safeguard our institutions. And banks are, like every other institution, need safeguarding. And so we are really happy that risk management has come of age and that I, we hope that it will continue to support all the banks to make sure that they are properly safeguarded against the risk involved in banking and make sure the financial sector remains safe.